Our children, many of them, are suspicious of the Hadith collections. They learn all these critical methods of historical research, and now they begin to have doubts. Why does that happen? Because the science of Hadith has now been put on a shelf, and we refuse to revive the, to, the, that same, to perform that same type of critical research that was done centuries ago. How many real Hadith scholars, Isnad critics, Matin critics, historical critics, how much of that criticism is really going on today? Even if that criticism only brings us back to the same point we were before, that is good. But it's kept alive. It's kept alive. The great Indian thinker Iqbal wrote a book about the revivication of the Islamic sciences. He said this is extremely important. We must always investigate and reinvestigate and research the work of the past. Either perfect it or confirm it. Or confirm it. But if you just put it up on a shelf and let the science die and just rely on it, the work of the people of the past, then we become disconnected with it. And we have the problem we have today where there are children no longer have confidence in one of the most important areas of our community building. They're complaining about it. There's a huge distrust among them. Almost every kid that emails me brings up this subject sooner or later. What are we doing to answer them?